architects and artists of Islam have traditionally been just as convinced of the power of a building to influence us for the better as their Catholic counterparts. Central to Islamic thought is the belief that coming to a beautiful building isn't just agreeable in itself, it's about experiencing a direct and convincing manifestation of the faith. There's a long association in the West between beautiful environments and luxury and a kind of decadence, as though spending time in beautiful places was actually going to corrupt us. But what's interesting about a lot of Muslim theological thinking on the matter is the suggestion that actually a beautiful environment could make you good because what we call beauty is really the material manifestation of what we might at a psychological, moral level call goodness. Beauty is goodness written into matter. So by looking at, let's say, a beautiful geometric wall, you're not just looking at something pretty, you're taking in subtly a course in ethics. You're learning to become a better person. In both traditional Islam and Catholicism, the moral equation between beauty and goodness lent seriousness and importance to all architecture. We might even come to understand God through buildings, because, as the 11th century Muslim philosopher Ibn Sina said, God is at the source of every beautiful thing. With the rise of Protestantism within Christianity, there emerged a new school of thought about the role of architecture. The essence of the Protestant worldview is that the state of your soul has nothing to do with where you happen to live or worship. What counts is inside. What counts is the contact that you have with the Word of God. That's why the great Protestant reformers, Calvin and Zwingli, told their congregations that they should never waste money doing up their churches. You could find Jesus anywhere, even in a stable. So by extension, Protestant sects would argue that you're as likely to find Jesus here on the Whitford trading estate outside Chelmsford as you are in Notre Dame in Paris.